Today we are going to try and explain to the nurses how a valve is presented to the surgeon when he asks during a valve replacement. The demo will be done for a TTK Chitra Rigid Tilting Disc Mitral Valve. Right? Now once the operation is going on and the patient has been on pump, cardioplegia given, mitral valve has been excised. After that the surgeon will size the valve using one of these sizes and he may say he wants say a 29 sized valve. Once he decides on that he is going to say please give me a 29 TDK Chitra quickly. Once he says that of uh, valves and then pick up the 29 Chitra TDK. The valve will come in a box like this well packed and it's got a sticker label here which shows that it is a 29 millimeter Chitra valve. Got it? It also shows an expiry date. Now she has to read loudly TTK Chitra 29 expiry date 2018 March. Once she has read that out the anesthetist, the perfusionist and the nurse say loudly heard it. Okay. She goes around and then goes towards the scrub nurse. When she goes to the scrub nurse with this valve, she decides with the knife to open this line. There is a cut open line. Okay. She takes a knife blade and cuts along this line. When she cuts it along this line, we get this situation. The valve box opens. She should hold this box exactly like this. Open the flap with the right hand and open the second flap and the third flap and push this aside at this point this valve is seen inside like this this is important at this point not to change the position because you need your left hand to take the valve out of the box it should be with the left hand so that this valve is made like this so it presents like this pick it up and invert it it's important to invert the valve because the valve dock box is designed in such a way to present the valve to the nurse. Remember, when you hold it like this, don't play around. Keep holding it. Don't turn it around. Keep it in the same position. And you'll see a tape. I've marked it in green color here, but actually it is a transparent tape. That tape has to be carefully opened. So you will find a point where it can be undone. So carefully with the knife, with the right hand, because the left hand is continuing to hold. This tape has to be undone. When this tape, sticking tape is undone, the valve is still held in the left hand. Remember, you've not changed your hands. That's important. Then, this right hand, which is free, you open the top. It's designed for this. When you open the top, the valve is sitting inside. But it's in this outside container is unsterile. The inner one is sterile. Now, this inner present to the nurse. Who takes it? In her? In her? Wrong. In, that's a wrong thing. She takes it in the right. right hand and holds the bottom with the left hand. You understood? It is important that she takes it in her right hand and holds it in her left hand. After that, she unscrews it. That's now it's all a sterile procedure. She unscrews it. She unscrews it. Puts it away on the sterile trolley. Right? And takes the holder. No, she keeps holding in the left hand. She doesn't leave it. She takes the holder. And with the same right hand which has now become free, she puts the holder in a corkscrew fashion in the clockwise direction. In a clockwise direction. At this point, she can lift it out of the casing. And you see there's a plastic casing. She takes that off. Next, watch. See the valve is carefully placed within a plastic frame. The leaflet being inside, leaflet being inside is plastic. If she takes it all out, and then now she takes the blue ring out and we are left with the valve and a tag this tag has to be cut she cuts this tag and gives this to the surgeon the surgeon can then implant the valve so please remember all holding of the short part is with the left hand this unsterile nurse also holds with the left hand and opens with the right hand 
the sterile nurse also holds with the left hand and opens with the right hand these are the important things don't shift your hands it makes it easy to do the valve thank you very much